Hello guys, I'm back with another brand new video. My name is Haris and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, as you know, Guardian of the Galaxy game uh, is uh, cracked and uh, many of the players face random crashes when they launch a game. They stuck on a loading screen for a few seconds and uh, different kind of errors or issues um, yeah, they face So because it's a crack version. So that's why they, uh, they face uh, th these kinds of issues. So I'm going to discuss all about these issues. So watch the video till the end and subscribe our channel too for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys first of all you need to simply uh, turn off some settings uh, just as I do so follow my steps go to your uh, research bar and in here you need to go to your settings and now go to your privacy section and turn off all of these settings in general one two three four turn off all of these four settings down below uh, go to the background apps and turn off all the background apps running in the background so after this get back and now move to the gaming section and uh, turn on game mode simply turn on game mode and the second step is you need to simply Download the pack link in the description below and after download the pack then you need to simply extract the pack here and then open the folder open the pack folder and here you see there are um, a few folders first go to your uh, DX folder and install DX12 in your system accept the agreement click to next install the Bing bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it maybe it takes few minutes so don't be panicked guys and if this video helps you like this video share this video and subscribe our channel too for more content now it's done click to finish get back and now move to the optimization folder for your cpu uh, these all are ready files for your cpu so run all of them one by one cpu optimization cpu priority class disable power short link game optimization increase cpu performance increase system responsiveness meta optimization port thread priority power optimization and in the end priority class okay now get back and now move to the lasso folder uh, and in here you need to extract first and then you need to simply install the 64-bit version and after installation then you need to open lasso here it is so guys in here you need to go to your main um, option and simply mark those settings pro balance enabled and the second one is active power profile set on high performance just mark these two settings and it's done now the processing is start and now close lasso get back and i move to the mini softwares and in this folder there are uh, two parts first go to the icelc open the notepad first and read the instruction from here and then open islc here it is so guys in here you need to simply uh uh, click on the stop button first and stop the processing running in the background Then you need to write here half of your RAM memory I have 8 GB RAM in the system so I write here half of my RAM memory and after this uh, start SLC launch SLC also mark the settings Wanted timer resolution set on 0.50 and polling rate is set on 1000 and simply just click on the start button and apply the settings Now get back and I'll move to the power control part First you need to install it and then open power control here so guys in here you need to uh, first set on high performance and make sure click has a make active button down below disable all of these settings and after this just apply the settings click ok click to close ok now get back and now move to the quick cpu folder and in here you need to simply extract first and then install this um, quick cpu it takes maybe a few minutes so don't panic and if this video helps you guys like this video share this video and subscribe our channel too for more content so guys in here you need to system uh, power plan set on high performance and uh, then click on the active button down below all of these priorities core parking index turbo boost index and frequency scaling index all of these priorities at 100 and just apply the settings click ok click to close ok now get back and now move to the ram optimization folder run both of the 
password validity file and after this the pack steps are complete and in the end you need to simply delete some junk or bad files in your system so press win plus r window plus r and in here you need to type prefetch p r e f e t c h click ok click to continue control a select all and delete all of these bad files in your system so here it is it's done so guys uh, now you need to simply restart your system and uh, before playing your game uh, when you launch a game uh, then you need to simply uh, open task manager and uh, free your CPG space from here close useless apps running in the background and then you are ready to launch your game and you're good to go